Welcome guys to Kyanex. My name is Gaurav and today in this video we going to learn how to set up a Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. Welcome back guys to another video. So in today's video we going to learn how to set up and get started with a Raspberry Pi. For this video I am going to choose Raspberry Pi 4 4G variant for the demonstration. So so here we have the all new Raspberry Pi 4. As you can see I already installed some heat sinks over the processor and the RAM as the Raspberry Pi 4 heats a lot so I will recommend you to do install the heat sinks and even the fan. on to the raspberry pi before getting started so setup part will be same for all the raspberry pi model whether you have raspberry pi 3 raspberry pi 3b plus raspberry pi 0 02w or whether you have the 4 bit raspberry pi 4 so the method will be same for all the raspberry pi model so first of all we need to download a raspberry pi flasher to flash the os into the sd card just come to the raspberrypi.com link as always in the description then head over to the software section here you will find a raspberry pi imager you can download for windows mac os or ubuntu and any other linux distro as well just use this command in the terminal so here i am going to install this for windows just click download so after installing the pi imager let's start so here we have the raspberry pi imager First you need to choose the OS click on choose OS and here you will find a Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit here you will find a Raspberry Pi OS other as you can see here we have a lot of versions of the Raspberry Pi OS for example we also have the 64 bit version of the Raspbian operating system other than that we have Raspberry Pi OS Lite which I not at all recommend to you if you are beginner to the Raspberry Pi as it's only come with the terminal my recommendation should be if you are using Raspberry Pi Pi 4 and the all new 5 then go with the Raspbian 64 bit it's a good choice so there are a lot of options for the OS to go with in the Pi images so we will going to talk about in detail in the some another video so do let me know in the comment section below if you want a dedicated video on this os types if you want very pi os 32 bit click on it and then choose your sd card and then click on write and that's all your sd card will be ready to boot your raspberry pi so here we have burn the os into this sd card now let's just insert the sd card into the pi and there you go we are ready to get started before that we need some accessories first of all you need to install a heatsink on your raspberry pi as the 5 pi 4 heats a lot and even if you have a 5 volts fan then do install this as well after that we need a raspberry pi case to protect the circuit from any shortage like this is the pi 3 case or if you have a 3d printer then you can print your own case as well so that's upon you after the case we need of course a keyboard and a mouse and then for the power supply i would recommend to go with the official raspberry pi 5 volts 3 ampere type c adapter which is quite good or else if you don't have just you can go with your regular phone charger but remember it should deliver at least 2 ampere of current minimum so After that you can also use this kind of type C cables with the added switch which is quite useful to turn on and off a Raspberry Pi that's a additional thing if you want now for the display port now we have as a micro HDMI port so we need a HDMI to micro HDMI cable to power this up or else you can use this kind of micro HDMI to full size HDMI adapter i will go with the cable as i have and then we need to connect the power and that's all now we are good to go so here the raspberry pi boot up after your first boot there are few things we need to do first you need to update you can use the terminal to update or you can just directly go here and install the updates so just hit here 
and click on install updates and it will install all the major updates to your Raspberry Pi. After that, you are ready to use your Raspberry Pi. So that's all for the setup part. Now your Pi is ready to use. So that's all for this video. So if you have any question, then do let me know in the comment section below. In the next part, we're going to learn how to set up your Raspberry Pi without having any accessories like monitor and also show you how you can view or control your Raspberry Pi from your computer wirelessly. So for that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next one. Till then, subscribe to Techionix, like and share and till then, bye.